Hi guys, this is Michelle and today is three weeks since my surgery. So I have a little bit to tell you, not a lot, but let me get you the stats. So on January 4th of this year, 2017, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy at Banner Gateway Medical Center with my surgeon, Dr. Albert Chin. When I started my whole six month weight loss program, I weighed 286.8 pounds. But on my day of surgery, I weighed 251.8 pounds. So today, three weeks out from surgery, I weigh 200 and 40 pounds. So in three weeks, I have lost 11.8 pounds since my surgery. I've lost a total of 46.8 pounds overall since I've started this whole process. And in this past week, the dreaded three week stall week, I lost 1.8 pounds. So I didn't stall, which is good. Um, I didn't actually expect that I was going to stall, um, considering that my weight loss has been so slow anyway. Um, you know, I think it's just going to trickle on. At least that's what I'm hoping. I'm thinking that, uh, you know, I'll just be one of these small but consistent uh, losers every single week. So, whatever. Um, you know, am I happy with that number? Not really, but... I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to change what I'm doing. So, um, whatever. So let's get on to what I'm eating and what I'm doing and how I'm feeling. Uh, so in my previous video, um, I had just started parades, and I think I had only done parades for a day uh, when I had done that video. So now I've had a whole week now on parades. If you follow me on Instagram, you would see some of the pictures of the things that I have been praying up. <laughs> I've kind of been having fun with it. I think it's so funny how there are so many people who refuse to eat parade food. They won't parade up their food. They won't parade up their meat. And it's like either they're advancing their diet to soft foods and just chew, chew, chew. Or um, like this one woman that I just... Um, talked to on Facebook who had her surgery on the same day as me, um, she refuses to puree any meat. And so she's just living on, you know, yogurt and refried beans and ricotta and her protein shakes because she's not going to, she's not going to puree anything. So, you know, she's not eating, so she's not going ahead of, and eating what she's not supposed to. She's just going to eat whatever she's allowed to eat as long as it doesn't have to be parade. I don't know. I think it's funny because parade food does not taste bad. It really doesn't. You should try. It does not taste bad. It might look bad. It doesn't taste bad. And so in my in one of my other videos, I showed where I parade up some ground beef with some peas and some onions. It was delicious. It was good. Very good. And um, I prayed up some chicken. That was very good. I prayed up the turnip greens. Those were good. And mango. And so pretty much that's what I've been having in different combinations this whole week. Um, that ground beef, the chicken. Um, I also recently started uh, refried beans. Um, the funny thing is, is that a lot of people have problem with ground beef. Although I wonder if they tried it parade. Um, <laughs> but the refried beans are actually heavier in my stomach than the chicken or the ground beef. Uh, so one of my favorite things that I have been doing was, uh, the refried beans with some melted cheese and then some guacamole and then some salsa. But then I realized that the parade chicken, I saw someone mention like a taco bowl, and so now I started uh, layering the prey chicken with the refried beans, and then the guacamole and the salsa. And sometimes instead of the guacamole, I have sour cream and the salsa. So that is very good too. 
and you know the quantities that I'm using um, when I do the chicken and the refried beans I've just been having one ounce of chicken and one ounce of refried beans and then with all that other stuff on top it comes out to be about 3.3 ounces um, I never can finish all of that at once um, so I eat it until I get my full signal put it back in the refrigerator wait 30 minutes drink my water then wait a little while and then I eat the rest of it um, losing my train of thought. And then I'm also still having uh, Greek yogurt uh, some days. Um, this week I've started putting a little bit of isopure in my Greek yogurt. Um, the scoop is pretty big and so you know I'm only eating two and a half ounces of yogurt at a time which is half a container and so that is a lot of powder. So I've only been using one-third of a scoop in my yogurt and um, it does kind of change the consistency it makes it more creamy if you like creamy I like Greek yogurt because of the texture of it and I don't really like creamy yogurts and so I do hate how this makes my yogurt like creamy but whatever I don't do it every day I just do it um, sometimes now the one thing that has changed since I started parades is that I am now having a hard time getting my water in and it is also harder for me to uh, drink uh, period um, yeah the water doesn't sit as well as it did actually my first and second week um, I'm getting full much easier with the water um, you know I've said I start every morning with this chocolate splendor in milk and the first two weeks I could just drink that down almost like a normal person in about 30 minutes I could be done with that hot chocolate um, now I'm struggling it's it feels thick and heavy and um, you know it takes like an hour an hour and a half and it's supposed to be warm hot chocolate and you know once you put protein powder in your um, milk you really shouldn't heat it up again because even if it was the right consistency at first as soon as you put it in the microwave again it's going to turn into lump lumps so for a few days I avoided drinking this and then that's when I started putting the unflavored protein powder uh, in my yogurt but then today for the first time I decided to try it with coffee so I haven't had coffee since surgery I am allowed to have decaf coffee so today I had, you know, I brewed my coffee like normal, eight ounce cup of coffee. And then I put just two ounces of milk because I think the milk is also what was made. Okay, my video cut off on me because all of my space was full. So I had to delete some previous videos. Um, what I was saying is that, so I had this, um, I had this, this morning one scoop in uh, a cup of coffee along with two ounces of Fairlife milk and actually that went down really well so I'm gonna start doing that from now on, from now on um, as my first uh, little treat and then on Instagram I had posted like a day an example of a day of what I'm eating and I'm also gonna put that picture at the end of this video and I had one person ask me about this hot chocolate so this this is something that I had left over um, I have done Wonder Slim a few times in the past along with Metafast and this was like the last diet that I tried before um, deciding to do the bariatric surgery but their protein hot chocolate is delicious it has uh, 12 grams of protein um, six carbs and one fiber and it has 70 calories and one fat and so I realized that I had this and so I have been having this most evenings um, along with either my Fairlife milk or my 2% milk I'm trying to use up the Fairlife because I I didn't like the taste of it all that much so 
Um, that's why it's like in the morning I had the 2% milk and then in the at night I was having the Fair Life milk. But it's just because I'm trying to use up the Fair Life. Um, this is really delicious. And I'm sure that it probably tastes very similar to, I've seen like the Berry Wise uh, Protein Hot Chocolate and some of the other ones. They're very good. And so they're actually a very good alternative for people who are trying to find ways to get in their protein without drinking a protein shake. Um, now the protein in this though is um, they're using hydrolyzed gelatin and milk, uh, non-fat milk for their protein. It just occurred to me to take a look at that. Um, so it's not whey protein isolate, which, I mean, the thing is, is that we get protein from all different sources. You know, when you're eating food, when you're eating beans, when you're eating meats, those are not whey protein. So, you know, yes, I am getting the majority of my protein from food and from this. I don't think it's a big deal to get 12 grams of protein from gelatin and nonfat milk. Um, you know, in this protein hot chocolate because it's just a very small amount of what I'm eating in the day. So, what other things? Constipation. I have to admit, um, although I really hate the constipation, I mean, I really, really hate it. It's like now I feel like I've joined the club because, oh yeah, all of a sudden now I have problems drinking and I didn't have problems drinking before and now I'm really having problems with constipation just like everybody else. Um, I'm looking over here because I have a whole plethora of things that I'm going to show you. None of this is any different from what everyone else has been talking about on their videos. Um, for the most part, I've been using Miralax almost every day. I don't like how it makes me feel. It makes me feel bloated most of the time and my stools uh, are runny but I still feel constipated. So um, I've also been using, I showed this in my previous video, the Fiber Choice Drops to flavor my water. Um, I keep forgetting to do it more than once a day, so I, I've only been doing it once a day. I'm really gonna try to increase the amount that I use. This has the exact same amount of fiber in it as the Benefiber Sticks. So I'm going to increase this. Uh, this week, I had to resort to using these Docalac suppositories. Um, you know, I'm a healthcare professional. Suppository is no big deal. You know, who cares? So, you know, I used the suppository. It worked. I was very happy. And then the next day, I had problems again. It's like... Ugh. So, you know, my surgeon is very strict about tablets and capsules. I am not allowed to swallow tablets or capsules until I am three months out. So a lot of people have mentioned that they like the stool softener docusate, but I have not been able to find it in a liquid yet. Um, although I do think that there is a children's formula that comes in a liquid. I looked at Walmart and they didn't have it, but today I'm going to go to CVS and see if they have it in the, the children's form. So I am going to try the DocuSate liquid, the stool softener. Also, I purchased some of these. Remember these chocolate x -Lax? I wasn't even sure that they still made these. So these have Cinna in them, and, um, and it's pretty much the same as Bizacodal. Both of those are stimulant laxatives, and so they should only be used occasionally. They're not safe to be using every single day, or else your body can become dependent on them and not, and you won't be able to have a bowel movement on your own. But things like fiber, of course, can be used every day, and then Miralax is not a stimulant. It also can be used every day if that's okay with your doctor that you use it every single day. And then I also have the Smooth Move Tea. And this also has Cinna in it and a whole bunch of other things that are uh, like, you know, natural things for constipation. And I haven't tried this yet because 
I was reading a bunch of reviews on it, and a lot of people have talked about how it is very rough going and it's not smooth at all. So I've been afraid to try it, but I, mean, I don't know. I might, I might be trying this soon. So, you know, I have a whole pharmacy of products here for constipation. The other thing that I'm going to do today is buy some prunes. I really like prunes, and so I'm going to buy some prunes. I know they're probably high in carbs, but I don't care. Um, I'm not getting a whole ton of carbs anyway, and so I'm going to buy some prunes. I'm going to glance at the prune juice to see how carby it is. Um, I have read that um, even though prune juice doesn't have all of the car all of the fiber in it that prunes do um, it still has other things in it that also make it very effective for constipation and I would rather do it naturally than take all of these drugs um, you know I, I would like to be able to go on my own uh, let's see what else um, I am attaching a video at the end also of me and this dress and I'll tell you the details about the dress in the video. Um, I am going to be praying up some more things because now I have one more week of praise and uh, you know it's like I've tried all these other things now it's time for me to try some new things parade. And I'm just, like I said earlier, I'm having fun with it. This is only a short period of time in my life that I'm going to be doing parades. And so, I don't know, why not get crazy with it? Why not do, it's what I'm supposed to be doing anyway. So it's not like I'm necessarily getting crazy, but why not parade some stuff up and see how it tastes and eat it? Um, you know, this way I'm, I'm trying all these different things and I'll know when I get to the soft foods that I already can tolerate these things. And so coming up, I'm going to be trying seafood because I haven't tried that yet. So I'm going to be doing tuna salad. I'm going to be making kind of this shrimp bisque where I'm going to pur be pureeing up some shrimp in a roasted red pepper and tomato soup. And I'm going to make it more soupy so that it can be more like a shrimp soup. And shrimp has a lot of protein in it. So I am really looking forward to that. I um, think that might be it. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to pray up anything else because I only have a week. And, you know, I can only eat a couple of ounces. So it doesn't take um, very much to last me for the whole week. And I still am working on that can of refried beans that I opened up. So um, that might be all that I end up trying before I'm advanced to my soft foods. And, oh, another thing I keep forgetting to tell you guys is that I purchased my tickets for LF, LSFA. Um, I actually purchased them as soon as I had a surgery date. I purchased my tickets and I just keep forgetting to mention it. I don't know yet if a friend is coming with me or if I'm going alone. Um, I also purchased the hotel room at the time. Uh, so I may or may not need a roommate. We'll see as I get closer to the date. And, you know, next week will be my four-week follow-up. I'm going to have before and after. Excuse me. I'm going to have before and after pictures and measurements and, you know, tell you how I did in my final week of praise. Oh, I know one more thing. Yesterday was the first day that I was able to go out and feel really good. Um, before yesterday, every time I would leave the house, I was nauseated, I was dizzy, I was lightheaded. Even if I had made sure that I had eaten a lot before, well, you know, a lot is... Oh, I know the other thing I was going to tell you were, oh, I'll tell you next week. I was going to tell, give you an example of what I, how many calories and everything that I was eating. It really is around, I'm averaging around 500 calories a day, five to 600 calories. I'm averaging about 65 grams of protein a day. I'm averaging about 30 grams of carbs a day. Um, but yesterday was the very first day that I was able to go out run around all day, and still feel good. So I'm very happy about that. And so I'm hoping that now, from now on, my energy level is just going to keep going up and up and up. 
and I need it because I start work again on Monday. So now I'm really done. <laughs> Uh, thank you to all my old and new subscribers, and I will get back to you guys next week. Bye. So this is a dress that I bought right before surgery, and I ordered an extra large, 18, and look how big this dress is. I can't believe it. I think their clothes must run big because I'm not an 18 yet. But I'm going to be sending this dress back for the next smallest size. And then I'll show you how I look in that size.